It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hello everybody, this is Tyler Preston 20. Tonight I'm with a special guest. Her name is Valentina Ortiz. She is a feminist from Argentina. I'm gonna interview her about feminism. How are you doing? Hi, nice to be here. Yeah, this is your first ever video in English, right? Right. Okay. I'll try to speak as slowly as possible so you can understand me, okay? Great, thanks. <laughs> I really appreciate it. How long have you been on YouTube? Did you have any inspirations? Uh, yes, I've been on YouTube like three years now, I think. Yes, I only uh, always count like four summers. Yes, three years. And I always watch a lot of YouTube videos. But there's, there's one in particular, some uh, like five, six, seven years ago, with not that many YouTube creators. And I was a follower of Dallas Review. I don't know if you know him, but that was like the first time I realized that I like to do that. Like I was watching him and said, I really want to do that. And that's why I like inspiration, but no, not anything else. All right. How long is preparation for each video? Do you have a script or do you do it off the fly? Some videos came naturally. I put myself in front of the camera and just start talking. And some other videos, yes, requires a lot of uh, investigation and writing and stuff. But I mean... It depends on the the topic I was talking. Okay, and for each subject, does it go off the fly? I always look at the things that make me feel something. Sadness or indignation. It has to be a um, subject that really makes me feel some way. How long have you been a feminist and what led you to become one? Okay, I feel like I was a feminist my whole life because I grew up in a family that is not, it's the opposite uh, of a traditional family. Um, my parents were divorced when I was like two years and my mom with another woman, like in a couple for like six years of my life. My mom always be a feminist. And I think like I grew up with feminists on me, but like when I start, using internet and my, when I was a teenager, I was like more interesting in that things. And some of my ways of thinking changed a lot. What were the things that you did not consider before? I don't know, things like that men can be oppressed too. I never thought about it. I was like, okay, women in some point of the history can't vote, but men do, does. And that's why I thought like the only one who being oppressed in some way was women. But then I realized about, I don't know, never thought about, um, I don't know what you call when a dad wants to be with the, his kids, with his children too, when uh -huh. divorced. They are forced in some countries to go to the war. I, I'm talking like like a kid. <laughs> yeah. no, it, 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 makes, it makes sense. Don't worry about it. You sound good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. How do you define feminism? What's your definition? I think a feminist is um, a person who realizes about the um, ways of some discrimination against... It depends on what people are you talking to. I think... Feminist is about women, and that's why I consider myself as an MRA too. But I think it's kind of be, be concerned about women issues mm -hmm. and do something about it. Like, not just like, okay, I know this is happening, but I'm not going to do it, anything <laughs> about it. Um, but I think as feminism, uh, it's for women, but... I don't think that with feminism is enough. I think like that's the um, the tricky thing because I'm not just a feminist. I consider myself as an MRA too because I get to realize that men has suffered a lot of oppression too and it has to be a movement who fight for them too. Do you think both feminists and MRAs should team up together? Parenthood problems 
it has to be solved together because it cannot be that when a marriage gets divorced, most of the cases, women, the mother, are who take the children with her. With her. And I think that if it's a man's issue, I think that feminism and MRAs have to fight against that. So what are your thoughts about women's issues in your country? Do you think women are treated the same as men or should there be any improvements? Um, yes, I think that legally we are equal with men. We don't live in a, in a patriarchy like a lot of people think. I don't think so. I don't think we live in a patriarchy because the mo main difference between a patriarchy or a social um, a community with some, I don't know what you call it, machista. Yeah, yeah. Basically, machismo is basically um, male chauvinist. It can be yeah. communities with um, that, but it's not a patriarchy because the main difference between a patriarchy and that is that in a patriarchy, women has no, um, uh, what do you call um, No, No rights. Yes, no rights, but um, no citizen rights, you know? Right. Women is not considered as a citizen in a patriarchy. We are not living in a patriarchy at all. Do you think the Middle East, like Saudi Arabia, have a patriarchy? Honestly, I don't know that much about it, but I can consider most patriarchy than Argentina, for example, or United States. I don't know. But if I'm completely honest, I don't know that much how to can make a... A judgment. Yes. Make a judgment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, what's your thoughts on the issue of abortion? In my country, we legalize it since uh, the 1970s. However, there are some people in power, like the Republicans, who want to restrict it. Is the situation the same in Argentina? Uh, in Argentina, right now, abortion is illegal. We were fighting for that, like, in, in this past month. Maybe you see it. Um, they are um, talking and um, I don't know the name in English, but they vote yes. And now they have to be to another Senado. Senado, wait. On the Senate to see if they approve them or approve it or not. I personally, I'm in favor of abortion. Now I'm of abortion. <laughs> <laughs> like in favor I'm of. In favor <laughs> of legalization. Oh, <laughs> Holy, yeah, it's so, it kind of sounded really bad at first, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you understand me. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, okay, okay. What's your opinion on the wage gap? Many feminists claim that they get less money because of their genders. And what's your thoughts about it? Uh, that's not true at all. At least not in Argentina and not in in Spain, for example. I don't know how how it works here, but in Argentina, it's not true. Just not true, because uh, the thing is that we <clears throat> women earn less than men, but not for the same job. The thing is, women should uh, maybe are working less hours than men because they are with the, their children or whatever, or that women usually choose careers that doesn't make that much, that much money. I mean, they, most women doesn't study engineers or that stuff. You go to the engineer university in Argentina and you almost no, see no women, like it's all men. Like, okay, yes, there are women, of course, but not even a half. Women earn less than men, but not for the same job. What's your thoughts on PC and college campus culture? Do you think there's room for improvement? Honestly, I think that it's going to worst every time. I see or I can notice more censorship time to time. Like... Maybe I was younger and I didn't realize, but now I'm realizing that 
yes, a lot of people try to silence and other people that thinks different than them. And even if you don't like what other people are saying, you have to let them talk. I mean, it's mm, free speech, right? All right, thanks for coming on. This is Valentina Ortiz. If you want to check out her YouTube channel, her YouTube channel is the same as your name, right? Yes. Okay, and what are your social media accounts? Uh, my social media accounts are Twitter. It's like H-I-I-I-I-P-S-T-A-H, hipsta. And <laughs> that's enough. Hey, this is Tyler Preston 20, and I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.